Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to change the sizes of your video files using a program called Virtual Dub. Say you've got a video camera or a screen recording program that only makes videos that are small and you want to make them bigger. Well, this program can do that because you can actually change the pixel dimensions in this program for your videos and you can also change the aspect ratios. So say you want to change from a 14 by 3 ratio to a 16 by 9, this program can come in handy. For those of you who don't know about aspect ratios, basically a 14 by 3 ratio is one that's used by the old square TVs and a 16 by 9 ratio is one that's used by those newer widescreen TVs. And by the way, if you actually have a big video and you're thinking, oh, I want to make my video smaller for some reason, you probably won't need to use this program because you can always crop down a video really easily. Most programs do it automatically. But how, however, you can't really crop up a video or make them bigger that easily. So that's why we're going to use this program called Virtual Tub. So let's get started. First, we'll have to download this program. So open up your web browser and search for virtual dub on a search engine. Sorry. Um, I'll give you a direct link to the website in the video description. All right, but uh, if you search for it, just click this download button right here. And click on Virtual Dub at Source for at Source Forge. Sorry, this has so many buttons to click on, but you're gonna click on the latest version on top, and it should prompt you to save a zip folder, and save that zip folder to your desktop. All right, looks like it's done saving, so I'm gonna exit out of my browser. And here is the zipped up folder that I just installed from the website. So we're going to unzip it now. So right click on the folder and click on extract all. It's going to tell you to extract it to the same place. So extract it to the desktop. Click extract. Um, it's about to be done and it just finished. So once it's extracted, you don't need the original zipped up folder. So you can just delete that. But make sure you keep the unzipped folder that you just created. All right, now you're gonna open up your start menu and click on computer. Double click on the hard disk and double click on program files. Basically, I'm going to put the virtual dub folder in the program files, but uh, I suggest you do that, but you don't have to. I mean, I just put all my programs in my program files and all other applications there too, but whatever. So I'm just going to move it there. Now, I already have one there, but you'll basically, I already installed it, so I won't really need to move it. But you're going to click yes or continue or whatever it tells you to do. So make sure you actually click on yes. So it will be moved. And this will disappear from your desktop once you move it. So anyway, once it's moved, sorry that I did it all. But yeah, I'll have to go back there. So once it's moved, you should see the virtual dub folder. You can double click on that. And you'll actually see the application. If you're working with Windows XP, it will actually say virtualdub.exe. But with Vista, a lot of the extensions aren't enabled. So you'll just see virtual dub and under type, you'll see applications. And to make sure, just to double check, it's, 19, it's 992 kilobytes. Just making sure that it's the right app. So I suggest you make a shortcut to your start menu with this. So right click on it, click 
this is how I make sure I'm found. Let's click copy and then copy to your desktop. Um, so click paste shortcut. It's gonna make a shortcut. And you can also, of course, if you right click on your start menu, sorry, if you right click on your start menu, you click open all users, go into programs, you can actually create a shortcut to the start menu as well. So if you click on copy, then right click, sorry, click right click then paste shortcut you can do that too but I already have a shortcut there so I don't need to do that so exit out of that and basically now you have your application